How in the world does Bakuto carry all those yellow mist cans? And all of this stuff in his inventory for that matter. It is really strange just how these Finoki protagonists can carry all this stuff in such a confined space. Like, Link does it, Bakuto does it, I'm pretty sure a lot of other protagonists do it. It's just a really strange mystery that we as video gamers will never know the answer to. <laughs> Greetings all, it's Blue Knight, and welcome back to Persona 3 FES. Previously, we are still shaking off the effects for what happened in the last full moon operation. We saw that Yukari did awaken to Isis after finding out, after finding out about the truth about what her dad really did when those experiments were conducted. We witnessed that Chidori and Jufei's relationship is getting a little rocky right now, but hopefully things will smooth out between those two sooner rather than later. And we began progressing on some requests that opened up to us recently. And like I made like I mentioned last time, a handful of those have become available to us. Probably the largest amount of requests that have that have become unlocked in this game up until this point. Today we're gonna do more of the same. More progress on social links and on those requests too. Especially with those yellow mists I did purchase off screen. You know, I hear the problem isn't just limited to the city, it's happening everywhere. I don't know what's gonna happen to this country. The, don't say this country! You know, I would usually try to bring some light to the situation, but considering what's happened regarding the shadows and the loss and all that, all that nonsense, yeah, I'm starting to think that we all might be witnessing a huge effect that has been caused by the shadows of what they've been doing throughout the entire year. Alright, so since it's Saturday, let's try to put our minds at ease away from all that. I do want to go hang out with somebody today, but first things first, I want to take care of these request stuff that we have to we have to go through. Starting off with that woman who is a member of the Lost at Port Island Station. Again, I find it so strange that I have to go all the way to the dorm in order to get those yellow mists. I did mention last episode that I found this request to be a lot more convenient to complete back in the portable version. Again, I don't know if I'm remembering that wrong, but I do have... I do recall that uh, that request was a lot easier to do in the portable version. <laughs> in other news, this woman drank all 20 cans of our Cielo Mist very quickly. Ah, that hit the spot. The student looks healthier now. Does she? Does she really? She still looks pretty pale if you ask me. Oh, I guess I, have, I haven't been back home in a while. I'll give my parents a call later. Thanks. The girl decided to phone home. You succeeded delivering cool liquid refreshment. You know, that's us, Makoto Yuki. Delivery boy extraordinaire. Actually, I just remembered what the reward is. And it's pretty, pretty good. I saw the family asking for anyone who knew where the missing person might be contacted, and, well, thank you for looking. It seems that you're adept not just at finding shadows, but humans as well. You may be able to use your talent to become what they call a detective. Uh, I hate to break it to you, Elizabeth, but as far as detecting shadows, you might want to speak to Fuka about that. Then again, I really don't know if Fuka does know about the existence of the Velvet Room. I highly doubt she does. But now we got yet another maid outfit, this time for Aigis of all people, actually. Since she is the only other female party member in our group that we haven't got any clothing for yet. But now we got one for her, too. And there is another request that we can take care of in a few days' time. Bring me food fit for a wolf. We can get some gourmet dog food from somebody on the 12th of November. So I'm going to accept this right away. So we can get this taken care of for later. And the person I want to hang out with today is Yuko. Hmm, Makoto good. You seem a lot more nervous than usual, Yuko. 
so she just asked us out, and since we have Valkyrie, we get more points like always. So let's accept the offer. For some reason, Yuko is acting kind of shy. Do you, do you want to come to my house again? Are you sure that's okay, Yuko? I hope things don't get to be as awkward as they were last time. Though, you may have come to terms with your feelings about how you really feel about us now. Sorry. I could have given this to you at school, but it gave me an excuse to see you. An excuse? Is that really it? N now you're making me feel guilty. Hey, look, come on now. I didn't mean to come off that way, Yuko. It's a good kind of excuse. Remember the kids we coached? The four of them each wrote something about for us. They're kind of mouthy, but they have their moments. I think that's true for most kids, actually. They have a lot to say, is what I like to think. You're sweet, Makota Kun. You'll be a good father. Here, this is for you, Makota Kun. Obtain kids letter. They told me to give it to you. Aren't they cute? Well, I wouldn't really know. I was there coaching them for like one fifth of the time that they were under our wake. <laughs> That's why I called you up. It was my excuse for inviting you over. Today, my parents aren't home. Really now? I see. But last time you came over, it got a little weird. A little weird is putting it mildly. It got full on awkward, is what I'm gonna say, with all due respect. I feel like I tricked you into coming, but I was hoping we could try again. Um, you helped me find my true calling, Makoto kun. I'm so glad we met. I want to give you a special thank you. How special are we talking here, Yuko? <laughs> so, will you stay with me a little, a little while longer? Yuko has expressed her love for you. I think that was coming for quite some time, but at least she finally said it. She finally had the guts to say it. So I'm proud of her for that. And with this last meeting with Yuko, the strength social link is complete. Now we can create Siegfried, the ultimate strength persona. It seems that we're big. We've been completing a lot of these social links as of late. It's really good because we've been spending a long, a lot of time developing them over the course of these last several months. That's one more bond that cannot be broken. Siegfried is the bearer of victory, the ultimate strength persona. I saw Yuko looking at the bed and then looking at us. <laughs> I think we have to assume she might have some, uh, suggestion thoughts, let's say that. I could be putting two, 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 two and two together way too easily, but I saw that little glitch of the bed, Yuko. I know what you're really thinking. And I'm pretty sure the two of them, at the time they spent together, was probably going down that way for a little while. And there's really nothing for us to do, so I guess we'll just... Head back to our room again, and just go to sleep. It's a shame, really, that we have nothing else to do on these nights, but... I guess it's about to happen sooner or later. And it's Bebe. First time you called to us in a while. I don't think I'm gonna be... Available for tomorrow. Uh, sorry, Bebe. Yeah, probably next time. Another call. Ah, uh, for Keisuke. Sorry, Keisuke, but I'm gonna be busy tomorrow. But I'll see you at Photography Club, okay? 
I feel so bad hanging up on these guys. All they want to do is just hang out and I just can't fit them into my schedule. Because I already got my entire route planned out. But we will see them at school in their respective social links. So they won't be too bad about that, I hope. At any rate, today is Sunday. And of course, Sunday does be one thing. Check out the TV for more Tanaka show. Alright, okay, Tanaka, what do you have for us this time around? It's gonna be the Ravenclaw. That might be a weapon for Korobaru, actually. And there's seven mega protein, but oh my god, that's a lot of yen. How much do I have right now? I actually do have enough to uh, afford it. I don't think it's gonna be worth it though. If you ask me, the products that Tanaka sells on TV more or less don't live up to their price. Let's just say. I generally try to avoid Tanaka's TV show on Sundays because I don't have a use to check on it on every Sunday at all. So that's why I was really hesitant on buying anything from him at times. If this was a normal playthrough, I would never check the TV, to be very honest with you. I'm just doing it now just to show off as much as I can with this game, like I want to do with most of my Let's Plays. What are we gonna do? Neither Tartarus nor the Dark Hour disappeared. Our reason for fighting is gone. Ah, this is pissing me off! Damn you, Kutsuki! Calm down, Yukari-chan. Getting angry will help the situation. That is correct. It is best if we erase him from our memories. That's a lot easier said than done, I guess. You could do that because you're a robot. Everyone else, though, not gonna be so simple to do. But I know what you're trying to say. I remember how Ikuski saw would tell the most horrible jokes all day long. But he was just pretending uh, that wasn't his true self. Do you think he really enjoyed the times we all spent together? No one can answer that now. Who cares? All we need to know is that he betrayed us. I'll never forgive him for using my father. Yeah, Yukari in her case, I can definitely see why she has an extra strong vendetta against Ikutsuki. I will refer to him simply as Ikutsuki from now on. Ikutsuki never mentioned anything about his plot, even when we were alone. Meaning he completely hid his true nature. It is truly an extraordinary feat. This clearly illustrates how unique his psychological state was. It's scary just think about it. And all this time, he never suspected a thing. He hit it pretty well, that's why. It's like the world's best thespian that's now dead. I wonder if he really did cherish any of the times we did spend together, like one of those three girls said. I highly doubt it, considering just how quickly he turned on us and how selfish he he actually turned out to be. So we'll be gone for a little while longer. Leaving her be is the best thing right now, huh? Yeah. She's gotta have her space and we gotta leave it to her to sort things out for herself. I'm sure she's more than capable of doing that though. Mr. Senpai seems like she's having a very difficult time. Right, as I said, well, saying, Ken had to bring this up. She can't seem to rely on any adults. Well, I guess that's because adults don't seem to be very reliable these days. Well, at least not the, some of the adults we've met. Alright, today's Sunday today. I think I'll go squeeze in one more thing before we do call it quits for today. That is actually not going to be the thing that you would think. Because I'm heading to Polonia Mall again to take care of yet another request 
that we are able to complete. As a kind of a quest that we haven't done in a while. So we head to the request list. I think it's all the way. Yeah, right here. I'd like to visit Gecko High. Despite that it's Sunday, you could actually do this request now, which is pretty strange. But I want to show this off just because I just want to show you that you can actually access the school on Sunday. This might be the only time you're able to do that at all, actually. Oh, never mind. When they really mean the school is closed on Sundays, they really, really mean it. I don't know what I was thinking. That I could take Elizabeth to Gecko High on this day. That was really dumb of me to think. Alright then, well, it is still Sunday anyway, so we all know what that means. Well, actually two things. Well, that's Sadaka, which we already took care of, and the other lies in Nakanaki Shrine. In the form of Mr. Striped Shirt, Akidari. So I'll head over to the shrine and see where today's conversation with Akidari will take place, or how it will take place. Still pretty, pretty sick though. And don't worry, Akidari, I'm not going anywhere. I would just kick myself if I were to pass up a meeting with you. So let's spend our Sunday talking with him like we have done so recently. I got really into my reading last night. I never went to sleep. I thought I'd be fine since I have many nights where I'm unable to sleep because of my illness, but... <coughs> I guess my condition will improve if I keep taking chances, though. Referman Akinari or Tell the Go Rest? I'm not sure which one would be better, honestly. I guess we should reprimand him because he's intentionally making his health even worse than it already is. Yes, I suppose I need to apologize. It's been a long time since anybody raised their voice at me. Considering that you're directing that at us, that must be saying something. I came all this way because I was hoping to find you. Remember how I talked about reading upbeat stories? There are plenty of stories, but I don't think reading them will ever be able to make me feel better. The problem is, all those stories were written for someone else. I guess what I'm saying is selfish. I'm being selfish about you too. Wait, what do you mean? You're always coming to see me and I take up a lot of your time. Well, that's because I choose to come meet you, Akinari. Don't think you're selfish because of this. How much of my valuable time have I used visiting you? I say all of it. Because you're a very interesting person to meet with, Akinari. Not just because of your state right now, but because of how you present yourself too. That's why I like you though. Guess you must have heard me. Akinari smiled weakly. Your relationship is stronger now. Mysterious voice rings in your head. I've actually been meaning to talk about this for a long time now, but the song that we've been listening to during these meetings with Akinari is called Living in Determination. We've actually heard this several times from the main story as well. And one time, very recently, when Yukari, uh, Yukari awakened to her new persona, Isis, uh, I just think it's really fitting with this particular social link because of who we're talking with. Uh. Sorry, it seems I used too many words today. I'd like us to be able to speak here again sometime. That's gonna happen, Akinari. You don't have to worry about that. 
The strange thing about living in determination is... In the reincarnation album, which is the album I've been using to end off my end slates with, living in determination is remixed very, very differently. Eh? In a way that you wouldn't expect if you heard the original version so many times. But yet, it also makes it stand up for how unique it is. Eh? Which is one thing I really like about the reincarnation version of that song. Eh? I'll show a sample of that. Eh? In the end slate for today, just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. And in other news, Apathy Central continues to roam the news waves on our television screen and seems to be all the things that everyone wants to talk about nowadays, like the main topic now. Coral, you got anything to do today, boy? Oh, you actually do want to go for a walk. I think I'll do that actually, but we'll take care of that next time. I feel like we've accomplished quite enough as it is. Things are moving slowly but surely with more of our social links and our requests. Uh, we did complete another one with Yuko, so I think that's about as high as we can get for today. Completing a social link is nothing to be sad about after all. So next time, it's gonna be more of the same. More progress on social links and with the requests as we continue to live our lives uh, as the next full moon is quickly drawing near. Less than four weeks away, but uh, that time's gonna fly by very fast. So we better use it as best as we can. Until we meet again, farewell for now.